75 percent of indians have this disease according to recent research if you get tired easily get exhausted have frequent bone pain and muscle pain then you too can probably have this disease so the name of this disease is vitamin d deficiency though it appears to be so simple this disease has the tendency or the ability to cause a severe problem to a nation i am dr somasundar i am an orthopedic and spine specialist so today i am going to explain about vitamin d deficiency so what is vitamin d so vitamin d is an essential nutrient so it is present in the food but most of the body required vitamin d is absorbed from the sunlight so our skin has a special ability and works like a solar panel to absorb the vitamin d from the sun so it creates vitamin d from the sunlight but a vitamin which is easily generated in your body why is there a deficiency so the cause of vitamin d deficiencies are in the recent generation we are not adequately exposed to sunlight our ancestors they were working in the field they get a lot of sunlight they had a abundance of vitamin d in their skin so our generation it has become very difficult to see the sun every day the second main problem is we are using sunscreen lotions so sunscreen lotions though they have an ability to protect the skin against the harmful ultraviolet rays they simultaneously block the generation of vitamin d third is fat free diet we, what we have to observe here is the vitamin d has is getting absorbed into our body through the fats whenever any person takes a fat free diet they obviously are foregoing the vitamin d in the food one of the main important reason recently which is discovered is vitamin d resistance so to understand this we have to know how the vitamin d is processed the main vitamin which is utilized which is helpful for us is the latest version vitamin d which is absorbed through our skin and which is produced through our food is very basic version version 1 they get upgraded updated to version 2 from our liver so from the liver these version 2 vitamins they go to the kidney where they become version 3 this is called as vitamin d3 this version of vitamin is what is essential what is useful for our body many people who are having liver and kidney diseases lack the ability to upgrade these vitamins and they face the vitamin d resistance what are the symptoms of vitamin d so as i explained before the main symptom is bone weakness the reason being vitamin d which is absorbed it acts by making absorption of calcium and phosphorus into the body more easily these calcium and phosphorus are used by our bones so whenever the calcium or phosphorus is deficient whenever there is a vitamin d deficiency the bone becomes weak hence these people experience more bone and muscle weakness early fatigue tiredness and in fact uh, higher incidences of fractures second main problem is immunity so the vitamin d is mainly helps in immune resistance the people who are deficient they develop less immunity hence they have a higher chances of getting fevers cough cold and all infections you see they have a higher tendency to take leave from work and they have a lot of problems third and most important finding is depression it is unfortunately one of the uh, most difficult to find also so the people with uh, vitamin d deficiency experience sort of depression they find it difficult to socially uh, be active it is very difficult to diagnose and one of the important recent problem of vitamin d deficiency is they recent studies have shown that vitamin d deficiency can cause can lead to diabetes that might explain why there is an increased incidence of diabetic uh, patients nowadays who are all are at risk of vitamin d deficiency number one is as vitamin d is absorbed through the skin people who are dark skinned or toned skinned they have a higher melatonin pigment in the skin so this melatonin pigment though it helps to reduce the harmful ultraviolet rays absorption in the skin simultaneously they work by reduce the vitamin d production second people at risk is people who are obese as i have already explained before the vitamin d is absorbed through fat in the diet so the people who are obese 
they have a, a tendency of reduced fat absorption hence simultaneously the intestine the body absorbs less vitamin henceforth we come to the third people at risk who are at diet so because of this fatty diet recent days these people in the diet they easily neglect the vitamin d which leads to all these problems and one of the most important is fourth uh, group of people and they are pregnant women so even though the in the pregnant women they have an adequate supply of vitamin d or production of vitamin d in the body because of the newly forming baby the requirement of vitamin d is high so though they have a sufficient amount of vitamin d in the blood it is not adequate for both the mother and the baby so how do you identify yourself whether you are vitamin d deficient as i have explained before the first symptom is frequent tiredness and fatigue imagine you are not able to work as you used to work before because you are getting tired very easily second is loss of appetite you are not able to feel the food feel the hunger third is immunity if you are getting sick very often and if it's affecting your day to day life then you have to check for vitamin d deficiency you are not able to sleep well if you are having frequent hair loss and more importantly if you think you are getting depressed very easily emotionally affected very easily then i suggest you will benefit by taking a vitamin d test so if you have any of these problem please approach a doctor nearby when you approach a doctor they will suggest a vitamin d blood test to diagnose so there there are three important blood tests for vitamins so that is a vitamin d serum level uh, that is mainly to detect the amount of vitamin d present in your blood the second and third is serum calcium and serum phosphorus as i have explained before the vitamin d works by increase the calcium and phosphorus absorption so to know whether your the vitamin d in your blood is working perfectly we need these test if your uh, blood is deficient in any of this if there is a vitamin d uh, level of less than 30 units then you are probably deficient on vitamin d so like any diseases it is better to prevent vitamin d deficiency than treatment how to prevent vitamin d deficiency main thing is sunlight so my patients are usually advise to have a walk in the morning in the terrace with abundant sunlight twice a day in the morning and in the evening and for male patients uh, for gents uh, it's better to have a much skin exposure second is diet uh, a diet rich in vitamin d is very helpful so for vegetarians i would recommend mushrooms milk products cheese paneer curd and almonds for non vegetarian most of the fish good fish products such as salmon tuna they have a high vitamin d content some meat products such as chicken and eggs also have vitamin d mainly i would recommend milk especially vitamin d fortified milk recently uh, there have been norms uh, by the who to increase the vitamin d fortification in the milk products so how do we treat this vitamin d uh, fortunately the treating and curing this vitamin d deficiency is very easy there are mainly two types of treatment one is tablets the second is injection so the normal vitamin d level required is from 30 to 80 units most of them won't fall under this category if you are deficient your vitamin d let's say is from less than 30 then you can easily treat by giving you tablets uh, many tablets are available please consult your doctor uh, before starting the second mode of treatment is injection we usually reserve this injection for people who are severely deficient that is less than 10 units only one shot injection has a slow absorption which increases your vitamin d in the blood and cure you from this vitamin d deficiency so if you are having any of these problems as mentioned kindly see a doctor and get advice and treated because it is easier to treat and get away back to your normal life in this problem thank you